Warsaw, Poland is slowly becoming one of the top emerging skyscraper cities in Europe. Its amazing skyline of contemporary structures can rival those in Paris, London, and even Frankfurt. Did you know that Warsaw has become the home to the tallest skyscraper in all of the European Union? This new, new modern building is located in the heart of Warsaw and is slowly becoming a fresh and unique hub for travelers, businesses, and local communities. Although it may be exciting to know about this tower, there was once a time when it was assumed that Poland was no place for skyscrapers. Hence, this new and mesmerizing structure is a very remarkable comeback for everyone who misjudged and undermined this country and its people's ability to construct such a marvel. In today's video, we are going to explore this super tall skyscraper in Europe, Warsaw Evolution. The current functional high-rise buildings we see today in Warsaw are an eventuality of the city's revival from the destructions it faced during the Second World War. Without a doubt, today we can say that the city has risen from the ashes to become something so astounding. It does not stop there. Warsaw has also become one of the fastest growing cities in all of Europe. Warsaw has also announced that it has plans to construct more skyscrapers than any other European region. As of now, in Warsaw, there are over 25 st structures that are taller than 300 feet and there are 10 more such structures slated for constructions in the next few years. The total number of skyscrapers seeking approval at this moment would likely bring up the total count up to 65. All of these structures and their construction serves as a symbol of the city's daring aspirations to become the most contemporary capital in Europe. The Farso Tower Out of the skyscraper lineup in Poland, the newest one to be completed is the spectacular Farso Tower. And as said before, it is the tallest building in the entire European Union, standing at 310 feet high. The Farso Tower has surpassed Warsaw's well-known Palace of Culture and Science, which is located in proximity to this tower. And next up in the series of surpassing buildings, the Farso Tower has also surpassed the Commerce Bank Tower located in Frankfurt. It was the former record holder for Germany in the European Union for the tallest building of them all. With that said, the Farso Tower fell short of becoming the tallest skyscraper in the European continent. The title of that is currently held by Russia's Lachta Center which is at the height of 462 meters, located in St. Petersburg. Even under the Brexit situations, the Farso Tower would probably be the tallest skyscraper in the European Union as London's Shard has the official height of 309.6 meters, which is literally just over 40 centimeters short of taking Farso Tower's place as the tallest skyscraper. The towers is designed by Foster and Partners Architecture Studio, and this skyscraper is their second high-profile skyscraper as of recently, following the completions of its 50 Hudson Yards in Manhattan, New York City. It is located in central Warsaw, on a site next to the city Warsaw Central Railway Station. It also forms part of the three-tower business hub called the Farso Place Development. The building stands on a 4.3-acre site on the corner of Criona Street and John Paul II Avenue, which was obtained by the developer H.B. Rivas in the year 2011 for over $36 million. The project's original name was Priona Business Center, was eventually changed to Farso, which is a reference to Warsaw Latin name Farsofia. The Farso Tower is officially open for business now, with the first tenants already starting to move into the building. Eventually, the building's user list will include firms like Cloud Specialist Box and the international law firm CMS and Greenberg Traurig. Farso Tower Construction The construction on the Farso Tower began in December 2016 after the developers had the required building permits. At the construction site, a 36 glacial erratic was unearthed in October 2017 at a 10 meter depth. This was taken out with the help of a specialized crane and then moved to the field of Makoto, where it stood next to the National Library. In the future, it will be repositioned and put on display close to the Farso Tower's entryway. It will surprise you how initially this tower has proposed to be just 130 meters tall, but as of now, the Farso Tower stands 310 meters tall out of which the building itself is 230 meters tall. With the 80 meter spire at the top of the building that makes up the maximum height of the Farso Tower, the tower reached its maximum height in February this year when the spire was raised and fixed on the top. The engineering company Buru Happel Architectures and construction firm Eibstein worked alongside Foster & Partners Co. to construct the building for the real estate development HP Rivas to use its main headquarters. The Architecture 
the 53-story tower houses over 70,000 square meters of premium office space for HP Rivas locals and international companies as well as a number of startups in Warsaw and beyond. The floor space benefits from the large plants and 3-meter ceiling heights for an open-plan office working. The offices are served by two banks of high-capacity double-deck lifts with each of the cars serving two floors at any one time. A private viewing deck was inserted for office tenants at the 177-meter mark. On the ground level, the lobby has 14-meter tall ceilings and a 10-meter high ceramic artwork done by a local artist which splendidly animates the lobby area. The social heart of the project is the plaza enclosed within a glazed screen lined with full high trees and benches for people to enjoy the well-designed and aesthetically pleasing surroundings. This space is known as the urban room and it is a part of the seamless connections between people who work in the office who may use it as a free space during breaks and the public to visit the shops and eateries in the buildings nearby. The public realm continues at the top of the tower accessed directly from the ground via two panoramic view lifts with a viewing platform at level 53. Another interesting fact is that this 53rd floor is the highest inhabited floor in all of Poland with uninterrupted views of the city. Level 49 will soon have a full-built lavish terrace bar. This part embodies a key part of the project, which is its greenery. Farso Tower's sleek design is emphasized by the terrace forming steps near its top, while the front area's vertical divide brings lightness and elegance to its character. Farso Tower Complex the Farso Tower is a part of the Farso Complex which consists of a total of three structures across a total area of over 140,000 square meters. Farso 1 and 2 are two structures with heights of 90 and 81 meters respectively. Foster and Partners created the main tower and HRA Architecti created the Farso 1 and 2 structures. The entire project costs about half a billion dollars to construct. Buru Hapult has made sure to conduct an extensive sustainability study for the Farso Tower while forecasting the performance of mechanical, electrical and plumbing systems up to three decades into the future and using this consolidated data to determine the tower's installation process. Conclusion This skyscraper has received the green building standard for its relative energy efficiency. It is truly an architectural and sustainability wonder. And this might just be the final step to Warsaw entry into the global skyscraper game. The design and executions of its true essence as planned truly makes it stand out, not just because it's the highest, but also because it is one of the highest level of innovation yet. With that said, what are your thoughts on this amazing skyscraper? Do you know any other such interesting ones? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to drop a like, share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such videos.